Hi guys, let's discuss derivatives. One of the most important use of evaluating limit is to find the derivative of a function and this is the definition of derivatives wherein the derivative of the a function, let's say y is equal to f of x with respect to x may be indicated by any one of these symbols. So these first three symbols is read as the derivative of y with respect to x. This one is read as y prime. This is read as f prime of x. And lastly, this is read as the derivative of f of x with respect to x. So if you encounter any of these symbols, meaning to say you are going to solve for the derivative. The formula that is used in evaluating the derivative of a function is this one. So we have f prime of x, so which represents the derivative of a function, is equal to the limit of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h as h approaches 0. So basically, we need to find the derivative of a function using the limit process. So uh, in, in example, we are to find the derivative of f of x, which is equal to 2x plus 3, using the definition of derivative. So meaning to say, we are going to use this formula. And the first thing that we need to do is to define what is f of x plus h and f of x based on the given function. So uh, f of x, so ito na siya, which is equal to 2x plus 3, while f of x plus h, so how do we obtain this? So we are going to substitute uh, x plus h to the variable x of the function f of x. Substituting f of x plus h, we will have 2 multiplied 2 x plus h plus 3. Okay, so now using the definition of the derivative, let us substitute this 2 function in this given formula. So we will have limit of the value of our f of x plus h, so it is equal to 2 multiplied to x plus h plus 3, then minus the value of the f of x, which is equal to 2x plus 3. And then don't forget the parenthesis, and then all over h as h approaches 0. Now, simplifying the numerator by distributing 2 to x plus h, which gives us the limit of 2x plus 2h plus 3, and then distribute the negative sign. So, we'll have negative 2x minus 3 all over h as h approaches 0. Now in here, uh, we have we have to combine like terms. So we have positive 2x and negative 2x. So it will be equal to 0. And then we have positive 3 and negative 3, which will also be equal to 0. And now we only have the limit of 2h over h as h approaches 0. So as you can see, we can still simplify this and it because h over h will be equal to 1, so we can cancel that out. So we only have the limit of 2 as h approaches 0. And the limit of a constant is the constant itself, so we'll have here the answer 2. So therefore, the derivative of f of x, which is equal to 2x plus 3, is 2. Okay, let's now have the rules in differentiation. First rule is the constant rule. So we have here the derivative of c with respect to x is equal to 0. So we need to say the derivative of any constant is always equal to 0. Okay, for example, the derivative of negative 2 with respect to x. So this is equal to 0 since negative 2 is a constant. How about if we have the derivative of 3 with respect to x? Okay, it is equal to 0 as well. 
And um, say for example, we have the derivative of a, the derivative of pi with respect to x. Okay, so pi is also a constant, so it is equal to zero. Second rule is the identity rule, wherein the derivative of x with respect to x is equal to one. Say for example, we have um, the derivative of r with respect to r. Okay, it is equal to one. Next example, say we have the derivative of w with respect to w. Okay, it is also equal to 1 according to identity rule. Third rule, constant multiple rule. So we have here the derivative of cu with respect to x wherein you c is constant is equal to c multiplied to the derivative of u with respect to x. In example, say we have the derivative of 9, 9x with respect to x. Okay, it will be equal to the constant 9 multiplied to the derivative of x with respect to x. And according to um, the second rule, the derivative of x with respect to x is equal to 1. So we'll be having 9 multiplied to 1, which is equal to 9. A second example, let's say we have the derivative of 3 fourth x with respect to x. Okay, so this will be equal to the constant which is 3 fourth multiplied to the derivative of x with respect to x. So, just copy the um, constant and then according again to the second rule, the derivative of x with respect to x is equal to 1. So, we have here 3 fourths multiplied to 1. So, the answer is 3 fourths. Fourth rule is the power rule. So, we have the derivative of u raised to n with respect to x is equal to n multiplied to u raised to n minus 1 and then multiplied to the derivative of u with respect to x. In example, say we have the derivative of x cubed with respect to x. Okay, so this will be equal to the value of n which is equal to 3 then multiplied to the u, which is uh, x raised to n minus 1, so we'll have 3 minus 1. Then multiplied to the derivative of u with respect to x, which is, ang value ng yun natin dito is x. Okay, so simplifying this, we'll have 3, 3x. So, 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. So, we'll have 3x squared. And then, the derivative of x with respect to x is equal to 1. So, 3x squared times 1. So, it will be equal to 3x squared. Okay, second example. The derivative of 2t squared with respect to t. Now, we have here uh, a constant 2, so we'll take it outside the derivative. So, we'll have 2 multiplied to the derivative of t squared with respect to t. And then, applying the power rule, we'll have here, uh, just copy the constant 2 and then multiply 2, the value of n, which is 2 as well. And then multiplied to the value of u, which is uh, t, raised to n minus 1, which is 2 minus 1. And then multiplied to 
the derivative of t with respect to t. Simplifying this, we'll have 2 multiplied to 2, which is equal to 4, times a t raised to 2 minus 1, which will be equal to a 1. So we'll have there a 4t. And then multiplied to the derivative of t with respect to t. So that is equal to 1. So multiplying 4t and 1, so we'll have 4t. example, the derivative of 5x minus 7, quantity raised to 5, with respect to x. So, the value of n is equal to 5. So, we'll have there 5. Multiplied to, what is uh, the value of u, which is equal to, okay, 5x minus 7, which is raised to 5 minus 1. And then multiply to the, deriva the derivative of u. So, ano ba yung value ng yun natin? Okay, so it is 5x minus 7. So, the derivative of 5x minus 7 with respect to x. Okay, simplifying this one, we'll have 5 multiplied to 5x minus 7, quantity raised to 4, and then, what is the derivative of 5x minus 7? So, what is, uh, let us um, distribute the derivative in each term. So, we'll have here the derivative of 5x with respect to x. And um, minus the derivative of 7 with respect to x. Then, uh, let's just copy 5 multiplied to 5x minus 7 raised to 4. And what is, according to the previous rules, what is the derivative of 5x? Okay, it is equal to 5. So, right there, multiplied to 5. Minus the derivative of 7 with respect to x. So, we all know that derivative of a constant is 0. So, pwede na natin siyang hindi ilagay. Now, uh, we have 5 multiplied to 5x minus 7. Quantity raised to 4 multiplied to 5. We can multiply here uh, the constant 5 and 5. So, to simplify this more. So, we'll have here 25 multiplied to the quantity 5x minus 7, quantity raised to 4. And that is the answer.